Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using strain energy method. A propped cantilever beam of span 5 meter is given in the question. The beam is subjected to a point load 16 kN at a distance of 3 meter from the fixed end. In this question, we have to find the fixed end moment at A, the vertical reactions, and then we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. Now, let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 3. They are the moment MA, the vertical reactions RA and RB. The available equilibrium equations are 2. They are sigma m is equal to 0 and sigma v is equal to 0. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 3 minus 2. We will get 1. Let us keep the prop reaction Rb as the redundant. To find Rb, we can use the strain energy formula 1 upon 2 Ei into integration of m square dx. To find the moment m, we have to make sections in this beam. In this beam, there are two different parts, BC and CA. So, we have to make two sections. You can see that I have made two sections. I have made both of the sections at the distance of X from the point B. Since there are two sections, we have to split the formula into two parts. For the first section, the limit is 0 to 2. And for the second section, the limit is 2 to 5. Now, let us find the moments M1 and M2. We are going to find the moments about the sections from the point B. In this case, we are using left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find M1, that is the moment about the first section. Up to the first section, we have the vertical reaction Rb. There is no other load. Rb is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. Let us find M2, that is the moment about the second section. Up to the section, we have Rb and the point load 16 kN. Rb is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x, so Rb into x. This load is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. For the distance, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 2. Let us apply that. Let us multiply these two. We will get minus 16x plus 32. Now, let us use Castellanos second theorem. We know that in the point B, there is a propped support. So, in the point B, the deflection will be 0. So, when we partially differentiate U with respect to RB, it will be 0. Let us partially differentiate U with respect to RB. We know that inside M1 and M2, we have RB. When we differentiate M1 square, we will get 2M1. We know that inside M1 we have Rb, so we have to again partially differentiate M1 with respect to Rb. When we partially differentiate M2 square, we will get 2M2. We know that inside M2 we have Rb, so we have to partially differentiate again M2 with respect to Rb. These two and these two can be eliminated. These two and these two also can be eliminated. Let us apply M1 and M2. Now let us partially differentiate M1 with respect to Rb. For Rb it will be 1. So 1 into x we will get x. Let us differentiate M2 with respect to Rb. For Rb it will be 1. Here there is no Rb. So the differentiation will be 0. And here there is no Rb. So the differentiation will be 0. 1 into x, we will get x. 1 upon Ei is common. We can take outside and on the other side. 
0 into ei we will get 0 x into x we will get x square x into x we will get x square again x into x we will get x square 32 into x we will get 32x now using this formula we can do the integration when we integrate x square we will get x cube upon 3 when we integrate x we will get x square upon 2 here no need to apply the lower limit because it is 0 only apply the upper limit for these three terms let us apply both of the limits after the calculation for rb we are getting 6.912 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and to find Ra. Ra and Rb are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. This load is acting downwards, so it is negative. Finally, for Ra, we are getting 9.088 kN. Now let us take movement about A and find MA. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. This load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally, for MA, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now we are going to draw the shear force diagram. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A. In this case, I am using right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using that rule, we can find all of the values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now we are going to find the bending moment values. I am going to find the bending moment values from the point A. In this case, I have to use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. In the point A, we have the moment MA. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The reaction RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. So for the bending moment at C, we are getting 13.824 kN meter. The point B is a simply supported end. So the bending moment in the point B will be 0. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In this point the bending moment becomes 0. Let us make a section in this point and find the value of x. Here also we can use right hand side rule. The moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The vertical reaction VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. Finally for x we are getting 1.48 meter. If you wanted to find the point of contraflexure from the right side we have to subtract 1.48 by the length 5 we will get 3.52 meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.